So I have been calling myself a minimalist for about four years now. Over the years I have decluttered huge piles of clothing and books and childhood toys and random cables. But now that I have plans to move abroad, it's time to downsize once more. I will go through everything I own and declutter as much as possible. Let's go. So, today we will start with clothes. I feel like clothes are the best way to start a huge declutter because clothes are kind of fun. I feel like I don't have a huge amount of clothes, but I definitely have more than I think and also more than I need. So let's get to it. The best thing to do when decluttering, I have found, is to take the items out of their usual space. So take the clothes out of the closet. Otherwise, you may be just tempted to keep everything. <laughs> I think this is the worst part because you actually see it. How many clothes do you have? Welcome to my closet. I still have summer clothes hanging out here. I'm just not ready to let go of summer, I guess. I have pajamas there and here I have my old laptop for some reason. Some trousers there, some, I don't know, some shirts, some shorts, I don't know. Just a mess, to be honest, at the moment. This is my side and this is my... Mm, don't look at those. <laughs> Those are the birthday cards I draw to my boyfriend. Um, anyway, this is his side and this one. So we will not touch them. You can see this one because it's the only one that doesn't have naked women in it. Okay, this is already extremely overwhelming. <laughs> I thought that was it, but then I realized I put some winter clothes in storage uh, before summer. So they are in that one, I think. So that is everything. And I also have my winter jackets in storage in the cellar. But otherwise, this is all. So here's just me and my clothes. So basically what I will just start doing is I will pick a random piece of clothing and I will decide Will I keep it? And the questions I ask myself are Have I worn this recently? Do I feel like myself in it? Does it fit me? Is it comfortable? Do I feel like a hot piece of ass in it? I started to find my style in just a few years ago actually I was really struggling to find what feels good for me And I was trying a lot of different things So then I kept buying stuff and then I realized it was not for me But now I feel like I'm in a really good space I feel like my style is me and that's the most important thing I do buy most of my clothes second hand actually I would say almost everything it's cheaper for one but also I feel like I find more unique pieces that way and it's more sustainable so it's a win for everyone I will start to make piles of yes totally like this is my style then I will make a maybe pile uh, where I put clothes where I'm like I'm not really sure why I have that or it doesn't really feel like me and then I will make a pile of definitely no this is actually one that I'm not really sure about because I think it's really nice but the thing is that you can see my nipples in a weird way through it I feel like it's also a bit too long for me so I think that will go to no Starting strong because we are moving. I uh, don't know when, but hopefully soon. I just don't want to bring stuff that doesn't feel 100% to me. So I only want to keep things that actually bring me joy, that I actually use, and I just want to downsize to be honest. It makes me feel good. <laughs> so far, we are not doing well because I'm just putting all of these in the pile that I really love. <laughs> so. We will see. Oh my goodness, this one is so lovely. I bought it when I was in New York. At that time, I was feeling really not confident in my body. And I saw this in the store and I was like, oh, there's no way that this will fit me or look good on me. But then I tried it and it fits like a glove. I love it. I love it. I love it. I bought a few of these hippie skirts kind of things before I went to India because I thought that I would wear these a lot there. But I actually didn't like... I love this one because I like the color. This one is a mini skirt and it's so cute. So I will keep these two, but I also bought two more. And even though the pattern is so cute, I don't, I don't need so many of them. I don't know why I bought so many. Uh, one of them I also left in India. Okay, this is going surprisingly fast because I feel like I just know what I actually use and love and then I know the pieces that I'm not so sure about uh, for example this one which is a really cute random summer top it's just getting so old that it's quite yellow here so I guess I don't know if it's very presentable looking but I actually bought a soap which helps to get the sweat stains off so maybe I will try it on this one and it, if it doesn't work then it has to go because it's 
quite disgusting to be honest. <laughs> Okay, so now we are getting to some autumn clothes or winter clothes and it feels so nice actually because I get these hidden away in the summer so it's nice to see them now like oh I have this one it's it's like having new clothes again <laughs> so that's a tip to so always hide your winter clothes so you can get excited about them <laughs> this declutter is not going well because I'm keeping everything but I just like my clothes I just love them minimalism for me is not having as little stuff as possible because that's also a blessing about stuff. My goal with minimalism is to decrease anxiety. If I have a lot of things I get super overwhelmed and then I have to clean a lot and then I don't know where everything is. So for me it's better to have less stuff to have a space for everything and then I know what I have and then I use everything that I have. But I try to not consume so much. This one I'm not sure about because I always wanted to white Turtleneck. This is second hand, but it's originally from H&M, no Bershka And it's really shit quality. It doesn't feel nice. It doesn't really look nice when you look at it close One more thing which is super annoying is that this neck part is so tight that it feels like it's strangling me So I think I have to let it go. So now I have these jeans They are okay, but they just make me feel I guess it's the color and the cut that makes me feel like a 10 year old boy from the 80s. I think for now I will keep this and when I find better jeans I will donate these because I don't really like them but I feel like one pair of jeans is something that I really like to have. These uh, trousers I bought before the summer I had them in Italy and in India and they were really nice but the problem is that somehow, I don't know how, I got a stain on them in the bum. And I tried to remove it with a stain remover, but it's still here. Um, so I don't know what to do with them. Um, I guess I will try once more to remove the stain. And if it doesn't go, then I will have to think about donating them or like, I don't know who wants trousers that have a stain on the butt, but we will think about it. We will try again because I really like them. <laughs> This is one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> it's a Harry Potter shirt. So I bought this when the last Harry Potter book, Deathly Hallows, came out in Finnish. And we were queuing at the bookstore and you got a shirt as well <laughs> when you bought the book. What good old times that you actually were queuing at a bookstore? Can you believe it? I had already read it in English. I, I was 13, 14. So I read it in English when it came out. <laughs> And then uh, a year later the translation came out So I read the Finnish one and I was like Oh, this is what happened <laughs> Because my English at the time was not that good <laughs> I missed a lot of stuff This was year... What year was it? 2008 So this shirt is 14 years old So I use this as a pyjama shirt because there are huge holes in the armpits Even though I tried to repair them multiple times the thing with pajama shirts is that like how many do you need because I have this one from my boyfriend It's like an old one discolored one. I have like three pajama shirts and I think it's enough Like why do I need more? So I can just make racks out of this to clean with. I always do that with old shirts So that's a nice eco-friendly tip The thing I also always do when I'm decluttering is that I look at the clothes that I keep and I try to see why I'm keeping them, like why do I like them And then I look at the clothes that I want to declutter and why don't I like the clothing Is it the fit, is it the color, is it the feel of the fabric So then I know in the future that I won't buy those kinds of clothes, you know Anyway, I have a lot of workout clothes Like I actually know that I use all of this So then does it really matter that I have a a lot of them. When Gymshark was booming uh, a few years ago, five, four years ago, I got really into Gymshark. At that time I was still buying a lot of clothes first hand. So I bought a lot of Gymshark clothes, like every time they had a sale I bought some. And I do really like them, especially these seamless ones, the black ones, are incredible. These are probably the third ones that I have. I used the first ones to death, like they were actually falling apart. And they lasted a really long time. Now I have two of these black ones, still. I use them all the time. I'm not sure if I would now buy Gymshark anymore. You can find a lot of uh, Gymshark in charity shops here, actually. And 
online as well, like secondhand. So I could do that. But also the thing is that um, my opinion, this is just my opinion, that if you buy something firsthand but you actually use it all the time and you use it until it actually breaks, then it is sustainable in a way that you actually make the most of the clothing. Okay, the thing with these pants, they are skinny jeans, kind of. And that is not really a fit that I go for anymore, I feel like. Also, I just bought secondhand, I think a week ago, these ones that are kind of the same wide because they have the pockets again. It feels a bit stupid to keep both of them because they're so similar. I think they are cute. I guess the skinny jean fit is just not for me anymore. It makes my legs seem shorter as well. Like I'm not short, I'm 167 centimeters. I'm not short, but I'm like middle height, I guess. <laughs> but my legs are quite short compared to my upper body. And these are the new ones that I bought. They are also higher, so I really like that. Um, I do like these ones more, so I will declutter the other ones. I'm actually getting really, really hungry, so I have to speed this thing up. A lot. I bought these jeans when I was writing my master's thesis and I just wanted something that isn't tight when I'm sitting down hours on end but I still wanted to put on something else than just like joggers all the time so I bought these ones <laughs> second hand they are just so big and they are not fluttering maybe somebody will like them more than me a really finished thing to have is a million pairs of woolly socks like I have these ones these ones these ones and these ones. Uh, I use all of them and I don't see a need to get rid of any of these. I will just use them until they are full of holes. Okay, let's do a few jackets very quickly. This is one that I know I will declutter because even though it's super cute, like look at the pattern. It's so cute, I think. Uh, it's like a denim jacket, but it, a bit thicker one. But my issue with this one is that I would like it to be bigger. I would love it if it was oversized, but it's a bit like too small for me, as you can see. So I can't fit sweaters under this, which is what winter clothes are for. <laughs> so it doesn't really serve its purpose. So I will declutter that. Okay, wait, that's everything. I, I know I will keep everything. This is my favorite jacket, never gonna let that go. And this is my bathrobe, which I love so. Now I only have socks and underwear that I will not show you. I think what I can show is my swimwear. And I actually know what I'm going to declutter because I bought new... I mean, these are not new, these are secondhand. Which I know some people think it's gross to buy secondhand swimwear. But for me, it's like I wash them before I use them, so I don't really see a problem with that. So I bought these ones. These are like workout swimwear, like Adidas ones. And these are my old ones um, that are getting see-through and really stretchy and not nice. So these are going to the trash actually. And I will keep these ones. One more pile. Trash pile. Hopefully it's just gonna be the swimwear. That was quite fast, right? I will just go through the socks now and the underwear to see if they're really gross old ones and I will just throw those out and socks that have holes in them, which I always seem to have. It's so sad to go to swimwear away. I can't believe the summer is over. I have a few socks without a pair, as usual. I had a little break, had some lunch. I made an iced coffee because this is just my survival tactic. Hair is up because we are getting serious, so <laughs> now it's time to organize all of this because it's a mess. This pile, all of these things. What I'd like to do is watch some decluttering videos while I declutter myself. I have all of these saved. It's like the packing videos. I find it so satisfying to watch someone declutter <laughs> and it motivates me as well. So it's a tedious task, but I will just fold all of these and organize them and put things to hangers and stuff. Put summer coats away, sadly. Okay, finally we are ready. 
I know it doesn't look much different uh, than where I started, but I know that I use all of them and I love all of them. And for me, that's the most important thing and the goal of this decluttering anyway. Here's the donate pile. Here are the clothes I will throw the trash. These ones I will make into rags. Here I have to try to remove the stains. And here are my very delicious coffee that is gone. I'm just here in this yogi squad. Like a true hippie I am. Now the last step is to put everything back. So in the closet I have this part where I have like my makeup and some weird random miscellaneous stuff. I will deal with this later. I will declutter this later. For now I will just remove it and put it in this basket where I just store everything that I don't want to deal with <laughs> right now. You may wonder why I'm putting all these summer dresses back but I think I will try to incorporate them in my autumn wardrobe with like ties and knee socks and stuff because I would like to get some more use of them because I really like wearing dresses so I just have to get creative Okay, the final reveal I feel like it looks so much nicer. Here are the trousers that I have, the skirts. I put uh, my shorts and one skirt already in the storage there. My t-shirts and tank tops. And here are my workout clothes, socks, underwear, the usual. My pajamas. And here are the clothes I'm hanging. I really like it that my wardrobe is so colorful. I love color. I lied, that was not the final step. The final step is taking this to the charity shop. Actually, you know what? Because I was looking here at the pile, I saw our bookcase and I think, even though I'm a bit knackered from decluttering, I think I'm going to tackle this as well and take the books to the charity shop at the same time. The most important thing on this bookshelf is my lovely Spider-Man toy from my childhood that somehow fell on the floor and now he's a bit worse for wear, but I, I feel like I, I, I will fix him. He's just like chilling right now. <laughs> Ignore that. This is the beautiful painting that my friend Eva gave me. It's so nice. Here is a random box that it's not this, so I will not touch that. Here is a chessboard that my grandpa gave me. So I used to own a lot of books. I have always loved reading, but because the last few years I've been reading on Kindle, I just don't buy books anymore really. Like I don't like the act of buying books because then I just feel anxious because I have more physical stuff. So I only keep books that I absolutely love. Harry Potter books for me are the finished ones because I grew up reading them. It's just something so dear to me. I will not get rid of this ever. <laughs> so here are a few of my favorite books by Walter Moers. He's a German author. These are in English, but I would love someday to be so good in German that I can read them in German. This is the only Morgami book that I own. I have read, I think, five of his books. To be honest, I have a kind of hate love relationship with Murakami. If you have read his books, his style is so beautiful. The stories are so strange, but the one thing that really bugs me is how he has written the female characters. But anyway, this one I do love. And this is really dear to me because my friend actually has written here. This is so cute. August 2014. I met Summer through Instagram. <laughs> and we are still friends so it's really cool some manga um oh, oh my god this is probably the best manga ever akira here also is one of my favorite authors carlos ruiz Zafon. i will ask my dad if he wants this one because this is kind of like a trilogy but they are all individual stories kind of i didn't like the third one as much so i will ask my dad if he wants it this is a really cute edition of narnia uh it's matis i actually haven't read narnia which is actually embarrassing and I do plan to read that. <laughs> this is the German first Harry Potter that I read and I'm proud of that. <laughs> this is a great sci-fi series. I really love this and I never hear people talking about this. My favorite sci-fi series, The Expanse. You might notice that I'm not decluttering <laughs> at all. Here are actually books that my mom bought me a few days ago. So I was walking with mom and we walked by a bookstore and she was like, oh, do you want to go inside? Do you want me to buy you a book? And I was like, that's an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> Even though I just said that I don't really like to have physical books anymore. I'm just like, I do love me a physical book. I know this has been hyped so much. This one uh, I have heard so many good things about, so I'm so excited about that. Then my favorite fantasy author, Robin Hopp. 
I love, 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 I love these books. In the timeline, you should read this before this one. But I did it in the wrong order. I'm keeping it, but I'm not reading it anytime soon. I will eventually get around to it. These ones I will declutter actually because I just know I'm not gonna read them. These are Matis books. This is a book from the library, so it shouldn't be there. So my camera ran out of battery, but we're just gonna power through because I want to go outside. I've been <laughs> the whole day inside decluttering. So as I was saying, this one I got from my friend Lily, uh, who is German and because I'm learning German, she was so kind and sent me this. Um, but I think uh, Lily is a bit overestimating my German skills because just look, <laughs> look how thick this is. And my German is just not on the level of reading this. Even though I think I read this as a kid, I just don't remember the plot at all. So um, it takes me a while to get around this. It's a goal that I have to read this. Behind these books is the most terrible drinking game you will ever play. The Pokemon drinking game. It's supposed to be fun, but it's actually just like drinking eight sips every turn, kind of. But the last time we played this in a party, I won, so I'm the Pokemon master. And nobody just wants to challenge me, and I'm fine with that. So here, finally, uh, are some comics, some Mattis books, some board games. And here is Kalevala. Basically, what Kalevala is, is like an epic poetry. It's about Finnish and Karelian mythology. I love the artwork here. But the thing is that because it's in the poetry verse, it's really, really hard to read. My goal one day is to read this. This one I already promised to give my friend. Oh my god, another classic. Lassie Returns Home. I love these old books and just look at the artwork again. Okay, then finally, some magazines. Um, I will ask my mom if she wants any of this. And that's it. <laughs> so the final result. These will go to mom, maybe if he, she wants them. These I will give to friends and this one I will take to a second-hand bookshop and see if I can get some money out of them. I think I will get them. I earned 5 euros from those books. Yay!